different levels. You won't see nobody like me for like 12 other years. You see, they do all the time. We I'm different level. You crazy? You can't even coach my type of style. They style is regular. I gave him crazy work. Listen. Crazy work. Crazy work. And then look. And the dudes you kept getting all this love to, crazy work. Crazy work. Don't ever try me. Let me go. Let me go. Sounds so easy, it's like some mad. Right, he's tripping. Hold on, let me Hold ask on, you a quick. question. Check his drink. He's tripping. Why are you up? Because I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the world class. Yeah, man, it's, that's, it's heavy. <clears throat> it's a lot. That it tears him up every day, and that he still finds it hard to sleep even after three and a half. Bro, just the, oh my God, just the fucking thought. Oh my God, the thought. Oh, I have a little girl. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh my God, the thought of having a little girl having uh, some sense of security that I'm that she's safe with her mom and then the little girl is not with the mom she's with the uh, I don't, it's just, and then the mom is orchestrating the baby to be I, I, the, the nigga got money the dad has money he bought a house why wouldn't you just ask him for money for two hundred dollars You could have just asked the dad for two hundred dollars and worked it out. You didn't have to sell your daughter's vagina, then to get her, then not even be there to. I don't even know how to fucking explain that. I don't think you're supposed to be there to supervise it because it's not supposed to happen no damn way. Then you just give your baby to a nigga that can get into a house and get access to her. Then she get. I probably say molested, and raped, and killed, and then and put in a fucking ditch. You could have just asked the nigga for two hundred dollars. You could have went and sucked dick for two hundred dollars. Suck twenty of them, ten dollars a piece. Why do you fuck? Do you give your five year old baby that got a hold of a life could have been fucking safe with her brothers, with her dad? It's like these fucking bitches will want you. Oh my god, they want the baby to be fucking dead instead of safe with the dad. And as my fault for calling her a bitch because a fucking dog wouldn't do that to her puppies. A dog wouldn't do that shit that this weak motherfucker did. Shit is irritating the fuck out of me right now, bro. Shit is disgusting. And the anger is coming from it's a motherfucking child going through this shit right now somewhere. half years he said he suffered two collapsed lungs from the stress he finds it hard to stay focused and function and questions if he could have done anything differently cheyenne lockhart <clears throat> shania's 21 year old half sister described her as her little mini me who followed her around everywhere she shared that shania was bubbly and loved to tell jokes she was caring and would always tell them that she loved them shania's death was very painful to the young woman and Cheyenne thought about her every day. On May 29, 2013, the jury returned a binding recommendation that Mono be sentenced to death. The trial court sentenced him to death for first-degree homicide into consecutive sentences of 705 to 886 months for all other charges. Mono immediately filed an appeal. On October 18, 2013, Antoinette Davis entered Alfred pleas to second-degree homicide human trafficking, first-degree kidnapping, and several other charges related to the CA and SA of her daughter. She was sentenced to between 210 and 261 months in prison, will be eligible for parole in 2027. As part of a...
That's in four years. What is... What the fuck? Whoa, my God. Wow. 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 So, so when the fucking child be alive in four, like, what? I can't, bro. I'm, I can't, I. If you if you pay two hundred, oh my god! I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking get it. If I pay two hundred dollars for a nigga to shoot a nigga, I'm going to fuck the jail for the rest of my life. But if I get two hundred dollars for selling a fucking five year old, I can get out in the. What? I'm I, I'm literally I'm literally I'm I'm literally I think if I'd have watched this shit before I did this I wouldn't have did this live I I'm this is blowing this is blowing my fucking mind right now I am I don't even So, so that's 2000, 2013. So she, she, she got 14 years for killing her five-year-old. The jury returned a binding recommendation that Mono be sentenced to death. The trial court sentenced him to death for first-degree homicide into consecutive sentences of 705 to 886 months for all other charges. Mono immediately filed an appeal. On October 18th, 2013, Antoinette Davis entered Alfred pleas to second-degree homicide, human trafficking, first-degree kidnapping, and several other charges related to the CA and SA of her daughter. The second I saw the hit in 200, and I knew he was going to say months, I'm like, that's not enough. They don't sound like 20 years, at least. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? I know damn well you ain't been watching it this long and ain't hit that like button. You son of a bitch. <laughs> going right for the jugular, aren't you? And hit the like button for me, buy something. What's going on? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Hit that little red button and consider becoming a member. Why not? Why? Haven't you heard what they say about me? I'm a degenerate fucking animal. Everything not going to end up on the channel, man. We're going to put stuff in the back, you know, for the people that support the channel. I mean, it's okay, you know. Some people want to be freeloaders. I used to did it. Cash app, IG, link, it will be in the description. Also, the email, if you find something you want me to react to, man, hit me up in the email. Um, now, let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. She you get longer for having a gun. You get longer for having a gun. But a bitch can set up her fucking daughter. She was sentenced to between 210 and 261 months in prison will be eligible for parole in 2027. This the eligible part, not free, but eligible, right? That's still insulting. 
still insult him. As part of a plea agreement, the first degree essay charge was dismissed. And Alfred. Why is nobody getting fucking held accountable for the sexual assault? Like, why? That was. Why are they not closing them on that? I don't understand. I don't get that. The plea allows a defendant to plead guilty while maintaining his or her innocence because there is sufficient evidence to find him or her guilty. At her trial, she apologized to Shania's father, Bradley Lockhart. She said, quote, I want to- Bitch, I'd have spit in your face. Bitch, I'd have spit in your fucking face. I swear on, I don't even, I don't, that ain't not, I bitch, I'd have spit in your fucking face. I swear on God, I'd have took that assault charge. Bitch, I'd have spit in your fucking face. I probably would have punched you in your shit. Bitch, bitch, jump, nigga. Fucking apologize to me for getting my fucking five-year-old rape. Bitch, I'll kill you. That's some real shit. What you mean? What you talking about? That shit. This is, this is, this is some crazy shit. To say I did the best I could with my children. What? The best you could was selling your five-year-old's pussy for fucking $200, bitch? I never said I was a perfect mother, but I was a- Oh my God. Oh my God. This shit is so insulting. I think all the real mothers should stomp bitches like this to death. This is disrespect. You don't, you're not a mother, bitch. A fucking cocker spaniel having a, a puppy in a fucking dingy ass alley is more of a mother than you. Any rat giving birth right now is more of a mother than your dumb ass. Piece of shit. Good mother. I did what I had to to provide for them. Bitch, you should have sold your pussy. Why your shit wasn't worth $200? I did what I had to to make sure what? they were all right. I didn't have help from anybody. End quote. I don't, I don't. I'm so, it's just irritating this shit out of me right now. The little girl was safe with, uh, with her dad and her brothers. You didn't have to do none of that. Facts. According to Google, a McDonald's employee makes four hundred dollars, but four hundred bucks a week after tax. She could have did that. That's way more than two hundred. Facts. She's not a mother. She's not even human. Well, fuck, sharks don't even treat their babies like that. Alligators don't even treat their babies like that. Ain't a vermin on earth to treat their offspring like that. Not like that. Superior Court Judge Jim Ammons personally disagreed. He told Antoinette, quote, you could have saved your daughter's life and you did not. Exactly. Thank you. You had the time, the opportunity and the means to save Shania's life. Thank you. And you did not. Thank you are you. not a good mother. Thank this you. did not have to happen. That's a end fact. Quote. Judge Ammons ordered her to register as an offender for 30 years and suggested that she receive psychological counseling while in prison. Okay, I was just thinking of you, but right now, motherfucker, you, you the problem. You. Why would you let this bitch back out on the streets? In with, that, with that fucking war pussy she got to put more children in danger. In response, Bradley stated that he still grieves for his daughter, but said he forgave Antoinette a long time ago and knows that Shania did as well. He told her, quote, maybe you can... No, I don't think Shania was forgiving her mother. Because I don't think Shania knew that her mother was setting her up because she was fucking five years old getting raped to death. You can take this time and dig deep within you and help others by sharing your story, end quote. Shania's calling hours were held on November 21st, 2009 at Roger and Bree's funeral home. Her funeral service was held the following day at Mana Church with Reverend Johnny C. Davis officiating and was attended by over 1,500 people. Another 500 people watched the service from an adjacent building, while several hundred more who were unable to secure a seat waited outside. Touched by Shania's story, basketball star Shaquille O'Neal offered to pay for her funeral. He stated, quote, what happened to her was tragic. I wanted her to have a funeral that would be as beautiful as she was, end quote. Shaq learned about the little girl's death after watching Nancy Grace, quote, I was sitting at home watching it on the news and the story brought a tear to my eye, end quote. I never even heard of this story. 
into the other day. <clears throat> the service opened with light piano music and broadcast on a large television screen above her tiny pink coffin for photos of Shania playing in the snow, showing up. Have y'all ever seen a small coffin before? That shit is traumatizing. That shit is traumatizing. It's traumatizing. I, I, I was the only thing I can tell you. It's traumatizing. It's some, it's some wild shit. And then I seen two of them. So, um, at the same time. So, uh, that shit was fuck. That shit fucked me up. That shit let me know it's real out this bitch. It ain't, it ain't no motherfucking joke. It's real out here. So, I know where I am now. I, I just real out this bitch. Off Christmas presents special. and celebrating her birthday. Her kindergarten class served as her honorary pallbearers. She what? was laid to rest. Imagine, imagine, imagine your fucking toddler. I mean, your your baby being a fucking Paul. Oh, yo, that that whole shit just now was crazy to me. I don't even. Wow. Sure, that's crazy. Like your baby getting it oh, to be a pallbearer. Oh, yeah, oh my God, this is a lot. This is a lot. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got lost in a train of thought. I just saw that goodness I just heard. Washed. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. You know, like something happened. We are you. Boom, the world class.